This is Mrs. Hardman, and I'm here to tell you about the flipped classroom. This is for both students and parents, so hopefully you guys are watching this together. But a flipped classroom really turns the math classroom upside down. This is an idea that's picking up steam in the field of education. It's something that I personally am really interested in. So here's what it is. You're asking, what is a flipped classroom? In a flipped classroom, the teacher provides the students with preview materials that they're expected to review before they get to class. That's their homework, essentially. The materials could be short recorded lecture videos, like this one, educational videos that I have found that are quality on YouTube, reading assignments, or anything else. In a traditional classroom, this is done in class with the teacher. If you're like me, you grew up in a classroom where you took notes with the teacher. You listened to the teacher's lecture. You watched film strips. Explain to your kids what those are. All of that was done in class. That's a traditional classroom. Flipped is different. In a flipped classroom with the material given ahead of time, class time can instead be used for deeper learning, like interactive discussions, activities, and assignments. In a traditional classroom, that deeper learning is done at home with parents or siblings' help when you just don't get it. In a flipped classroom, students do the easy work of note-taking at home and the hard work of problem-solving with the guidance of the expert me, the teacher. This is flipped from a traditional classroom. So hopefully you understand now why it's called a flipped classroom. What does a flipped classroom achieve? Well, first of all, students can learn at their own pace. Students can pause this video, watch it, rewind it, take notes as needed. They're not waiting for somebody else to finish taking notes, and they're also not telling the teacher, hang on, slow down, I need to write that down. They can go at their own pace. Interactive learning is then maximized in the classroom instead of at home where you're by yourself. Students have total control over the pace and content of the preview materials. They can review, rewind, pause, and play back as many times as needed. And each student then comes to class with a foundational understanding of that day's materials, and they can spend their class time engaging in discussions led by the teacher or activities planned by the teacher for deeper understanding. If they have any questions after watching the preview materials, they can ask those when they come to class instead of getting home and realizing they really don't understand. So how does it work? Materials will be signed as homework. Students will fill out a recording sheet as evidence of having done their homework. And students are going to get their recording sheet and use it for this assignment tonight. So if you're watching this video with your child and they don't have a recording sheet in front of them, you need to ask them where it is because they definitely have one. They'll do that each night that a, uh, homework is assigned. They will then come to class and spend their class time putting their math skills into practice. Whether it's through those traditional practice problems, teacher created or real world problem solving problems, or real world projects. They'll get to do those in class. Why does it work? Well, for students it works because the flipped format ensures that the core materials of each class are taught at the right speed for them, since they can review, rewind, pause, and play back uh, this foundational material. For teachers, it moves teachers from the role of sage on the stage, standing in front of everyone and telling you everything I know, to guide on the side. Uh, guiding students to interact with each other, assisting students one-on-one -on -one as they need help, and I'm able to do that a lot more often in a flipped classroom than I am in a traditional classroom method. So you might be asking, well, if they're doing this note taking at home, what are they doing in class? I'm glad you asked. A class might have things like discussion, experimentation, real world problem solving, project based learning, interactive quizzes, or even traditional book work. The benefit of doing that at class instead of at home, they can readily ask questions, they can learn from their peers, they can learn from their teacher, instead of thinking they get it, going home and saying to you, mom, I don't know what we did in math today, and you trying to remember what you did back when you had Algebra 1. So it totally flips the classroom on its head. So what about homework and grades? Homework for students in a flipped class will be reviewing the materials ahead of time and coming to class prepared to apply what they've learned. Whether they've done so will be assessed through the recording sheets again. If you're watching this video with your child, they should have a recording sheet. They should be taking notes. If they don't have one, ask them where it is.
The more traditional homework, like assignments, word problems, other exercises, they still exist. But the goal of the flipped classroom is for students to work on many of these activities while in class, where they can ask questions, clarify responses, and hopefully have more positive and less frustrating environment for proving their knowledge. These assignments will be graded just as they always have been. We're just changing the, lo the location of where they do these assignments. Also included in grades are tests and quizzes, as well as the standard midterm exams. So grading really hasn't changed too much. So you might be asking, I've never heard of a flipped classroom. How common is this? Did you invent this? And the answer is no, I did not invent this. This is actually becoming fairly common. The number of teachers using the flipped model increases each year. Of teachers who have flipped their classrooms, studies indicate that 71% reported increased test scores, with particular benefits for students in advanced placement classes and students with special needs. A lot of times traditional classrooms uh, target to those who are our average students, and the students who are advanced feel bored, and the students with uh, special needs or who are struggling with math get left behind. This kind of targets those two groups and helps them find success. 80% of teachers using a flipped model report improved student attitudes toward the subject and 99% said that they would flip their classrooms again next year. So it is becoming more and more common because of results like this. What technology will the student need in this flipped classroom you ask? Well they'll need access to the internet, a computer or other mobile device. If you don't have those things at home, they can arrange to use the school's computer lab during study hall, lunch, after school, or before school as needed to complete their homework. For the most part, a homework assignment is going to take them 10 to 15 minutes. So if they don't have internet at home, they can come to school about 15 minutes early and do their math homework that morning, if needed. If you have any questions about this or problems with this, please make sure you let me know. So what can you, the parent, do to help your child in this flipped classroom setting? The single most essential element of any flipped classroom is whether or not its students actually review the material ahead of time and come to class prepared. If the students don't do the homework, they don't watch the materials, they don't take notes on the recording sheet that I've given to them that I've mentioned now three times in this video, they will have to spend class time watching those materials at school, which takes away from the time that they spend in class in the interactive materials. It takes away from their time to get help from the teacher, to ask their peers questions, to clarify any misunderstandings they have. They have to do their homework and it's going to be better for them if they do it before they come to class. So you parents can make sure your students are really reviewing the lecture materials. Uh, again, homework should take about 10 to 15 minutes a night on average, maybe a little less on some nights, maybe a little more, but not a whole lot different from that 10 minutes. If they go in and they come back out in two minutes and say, done with my math homework, they didn't do it. I, I can't think of a homework assignment I have that's only two minutes long. So make sure they're really watching the, the materials that I provide. You may even want to watch together with the student. It's a great way to ensure that they are paying attention and you can make a difference by talking with your student about the subject as you watch. You might learn something new that you never knew about math or something that you had forgotten and you went, oh yeah, I remember when I learned that. Uh, so it's really a great way to engage with your student about the subjects that they are learning instead of just getting papers back with numbers all over them and no name and you don't know what they're learning. So engage with them, make sure they're really reviewing and doing their homework. If you're unsure about how this will work, please don't hesitate to send me your questions. You can contact me at heather.harbin at ccmv.com. I do answer emails within 24 business hours. I really try not to check my email on the weekends, unplug and spend time with family. So if you send me a question on Friday afternoon or Saturday morning, you're not gonna get a response probably until Monday. If you wanna know more about flipped classrooms in general, feel free to Google it, or you can check out this video, the link's right here, for another teacher's explanation of a flipped classroom. Uh, information for this presentation came from Edmodo blog. You can click on the link right there if you want to see where that information came from. This presentation is a summary of the information that they present. Feel free to research, Google, find out what you can about the flipped classroom. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm excited about this uh, change in format. I really think it will be great for our students, and I'm excited for them to be just as excited about math as I am. That's my goal. Let's make it happen. Have a great night, guys.